Got a lot of clouds today, but I'm not going to let that dampen my spirits. Here at IAA, I am Monkey Rich Mike. And that was a weird intro. I realize that. I'm sorry, but I just have so much fun out here. And I am looking around the yard and I'm seeing lots of different cars and trucks and SUVs. Are you interested in a Nissan Armada Platinum Series? Well, that's just one of the examples you're going to find out here at IAA in Tulsa. We're on the prowl for something fun. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what we find. It looks worse than it really is. How many times have you heard that? Many times. Yeah, this is a Mustang from, let me check out the sticker. This is from 2019. It looks like about 56,000 miles and she kind of bumped into whatever was in front of her. <clears throat> and it does look like, well, you'll need a hood, definitely. Um, Someone's been poking around in here. So I don't know if that's from the damage or if they just kind of tried to straighten the frame rail right there or not. You need a couple of headlights. This is buckled down a little bit right here. Nice looking tires. Wow, those are almost new tires. Um, with good looking wheels on it too. Absolutely. Convertible, super sweet. You can get ready for summer. I like the tires, I really do. And the wheels are not bad at all. They really aren't. Um, one thing I do do, <laughs> when I do do these videos, is I kind of check out this area first before I give them a start. And I do that not on camera. So this one, we may be a little low on coolant. So it looks like maybe the radiator has been damaged. There's some water right there. I don't know if it's antifreeze because it's been raining. And as you can see, it's gonna be a dirty day, okay? I'm gonna get a little muddy, but that's okay because I love doing this. It's got a little eco boost in there. Let's just see what she sounds like, see what she starts like, and see what it's like on the inside. This is a nice little thing. Okay, as far as airbags, looks like just one came off. And that would be easily replaced you can't really buy airbags at most of the salvage yards. People get them off of eBay these days. There you go, 56,000 miles. Ooh, okay. Here's the key, which is good to see right there. And let's give it a little start. Here we go. Oh, of course she's gonna fire up. This is basically, well, it's eh, four or five years old engine coolant over temperature okay so we got to be careful with that see the manual driver's door ajar everything's okay um but the engine runs and sounds just found and i'm loving this i really am and i love how they kind of incorporated this and they've restyled the dash which is nice a little bit of scratching or something over there but the seats are good the car runs very 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 well um let's go ahead and just turn her off alarm all sensors perimeter sensing alarm is going on right there so if you're in the market for a red mustang with these cool toggle switches nice and a good little entertainment system well this is something you li might like to look into oil change there you go four months ago uh 55909 return mileage we're at 56 so you do need to get your oil changed when you get your hood fixed. But I like this. This is a very nice car. We even have, what is this? It reminds me of the old stickers when they used to do the oil change and they would put the little stickers on the door frame, door right here, <laughs> the door jam. Yeah, okay, 2019 Ford Mustang. Love it, love it, love it. When's the last time you saw a little Dodge Neon? Yep, this one is from 2004. And it comes from a company called the Clunker Junker. <laughs> I think that is cool. I <laughs> love the name. I need to start a business like that and have a fun name. Well, I guess I kind of did. Monkey Wrench Mike, it, that just came to me in the middle of the night. I woke up, I was trying to think of a name for the channel. I had no idea. It was gonna be like Mercedes Mike, but that was too limiting. And in the middle of the night, I don't know if it was divine inspiration or what, but I just woke up and it was Monkey Wrench Mike. It just, it just fit. And I love it. 
And I have those stickers still. So if you want a Monkey Wrench Mike sticker, you can send me a message. Give me your name and address and um, they're $3. And I'll send you a sticker. Anyway, let's get back to work. Okay, so this one, body damage doesn't look too, too bad at all. For some reason, you're on a flat spare right there. Um, there is some scratching, a little bitty dent right here. There's a lot of fading. These neons, the paint, it never lasted very long. I don't know if that's because the people just, ooh, it's a SXT. If the people just didn't wax them or anything. The license plate is from 2019. And she is, whoa, she is really, really dirty. We got a little letter. We got something going on. Anxiety, rewind, bam, anxious, reframe, brain. Is that supposed to be refrain instead of reframe? I don't know, positive. Jackie, my friend, like me for me. My parents love me. I'm a good person. I'm a good friend. I'm a good sister. I take care of myself. So there you go. You need to rewind, relax, and chill. Everybody likes you. You need to get this thing cleaned out because that's a hot mess in there. That is really, really dirty. Whoa. So this person was going to school, perhaps maybe therapy, and they weren't washing their car or waxing their car or doing anything with their car and someone has been in here and they left the key on so she's not going to do anything because <sighs> I love it when they do that they do it on purpose so no one can, else can come out here and start it but you get all your keys you get a little remote I love how they painted this to match the body color which is really nice even that has been painted what is this some Nivea cream and a letter of affirmation in the back. 2004 Dodge Neon. <laughs> I know somebody who loves these cars. Yep, you know who I'm talking about. Same person I talk about all the time. Anyway, if you're interested in this one, should we even look at the, I guess we should look at the engine. See what's going on there, see if it has oil. But if you are interested in this car, you can bid on it from wherever you are in the world. You can win the auction and you can have it shipped right to your front door. They'll do all that for you here. My gosh, that was hard. And this hood is heavy as can be. So here's why she didn't start. We got a battery from, what does this say? Well, from 2013. So you got an 11 year old battery. Ha! You think there's any power? No. As far as oil, yeah, oil looks actually pretty good. So the battery is from 2013. The stickers from the license plate was from what, 2019? So that battery lasted six years? Maybe so. Would she start? May I, I'm guessing she would. We have a lot of cobwebs and everything else there. But I'm not interested in her, so we're gonna put everything back the way we found it. And if you are, once again, IAA, they have an app that is easy to use and you can be the proud owner of a blue neon. Here's an interesting vehicle, 2001 Toyota Tundra that would make a great flapping noise as it drove down the highway. You can remove that and not worry about that at all. Basic white. Okay, there doesn't seem to be too much damage. Over here you have Cooper Evolution, another Cooper Evolution with, oh my, those are almost new. There's a ton of tread on those tires. We're looking good, looking good. Got a gigantic hitch on the back for you. You have a nice little bed liner, a Dura liner to go along with your iForce V8. Now this is the Tundra when they kind of grew and stretched them a little bit from the first edition and now they're just gigantic trucks. So this is another Cooper Evolution. Here's your damage. Something hit her right here 
and then right here. So you'll need, you can even remove this. It's not even that, oh, it's not even attached hardly. <laughs> um, does this open? Yes. So this is the limited edition. This is gonna give you leather that really needs to be addressed. This is all dried out, but it would be easy to do. They have dressing that will bring that back to, to life very, very easily. Leatherik is something I like on like a big, thick Mercedes leather. Put it in a trash bag, set it out in the sun, and whatever is dried up comes out nice and supple and soft. That Leatherik is really, really good oil for leather seats. Um, so that's your damage right there. It's got the V8, so this will pull anything. I kind of like this that I might ask it to pull. Okay, you have electric seats, electric windows. Here's your owner's manual. Nice, okay. On the inside, there is a bit of a smell. I don't know what I think about this. They tried to spice it up a little bit and unfortunately, I don't think, I don't think she's gonna do anything. She's dead as a doorknob and um, I can't fix that right now. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, my little thing isn't working either. So a lot of storage, a lot of potential. Let's check out what's going on under the hood. Now this is a latch I could get into. Look how big that is. Yeah, easy to find, works perfectly. Hood struts still work. What do you think? You think she'd run? I absolutely do. I really, really do. Because you know there's gonna be oil in here. It looks like a fairly well kept, yeah, look at that. The oil is not even really black. Perfect level. You got yourself a Sears Die Hard from 10 of 22. Okay, so they bought a relatively expensive battery back in the day. This would come back to life so easily. It was just being used. It kind of got T-boned a little bit. Look at the headlights. They've even got this looking good right here. How nice. Those are really nice. Okay. So if you're interested in this, once again, all you need, the door, passenger door, this, and if you wanted a step bar, you could do that. And this would be a fantastic work truck for you. Well, what do you think about these three vehicles? I love the truck, I really do. It's older, um, I know it's gonna run and drive. It doesn't say anything about that on the um, sticker. That's okay, but we have an oil change in 12 of 23. Okay, 174,561, they use 5W30. So that's a good sign at a quick lube in a small town in Oklahoma. So she's gonna run, she's gonna drive. I still think it's gonna go for quite a bit of money. You let me know what you think this will go for. Um, but I could rock this. You can bring these seats back to life so, so easily. All right, everybody, here's your little stick shift. I wish it was down here. Anyway, not a big deal, okay? Thanks for watching, everybody. We're back with another walk around video or where we're going to actually fix something or a bike review. This channel is expanding and I'm loving every minute of it. All right, have a great day. We'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.